वेलकम टू टेकी मॉम चैनल फॉर मोर अपडेट्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टुडे विल सी हाउ टू सपोर्ट मल्टीपल लैंग्वेजेस इन आवर आईओएस एप्लीकेशन नथिंग बट द लोकलाइजेशन और इंटरनेशनलाइजेशन लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ इट लेट्स गो टू द प्रोजेक्ट अंडर इन फोर यू कैन सी द लोकलाइजेशन जस्ट क्लिक ऑन द प्लस बटन यू कैन सी द लैंग्वेजेस लिस्ट हियर then select the languages which you want to support i have selected telugu language here and then um, automatically it applies to the all the views it created the respective strings uh, related to the languages which we have selected now uh, in view controller i'm adding two labels uh, the top label is uh, localized using the purely from view that is using storyboard or uh, xib directly from those strings it automatically updates the localization of it and the second label is uh, dynamically using the programmatically how we localize the uh, strings and all we will be doing uh, for the second label the third one is uh, we have taken a text field here uh, for the uh, input view i will be giving picker so that uh, when i uh, click on the text field it will be showing the uh, list of the languages which i have to select let's connect the outlets of the three fields and uh, initialize the picker view now i am extending the picker view delegate and data source and respective methods so uh, just write the required uh, delegate and data source methods which we need for displaying data of the picker i have created a uh, array of tuples for uh, call languages which is uh, basically the array of the languages which i'm supporting the tuple contains the language name and the language code here you can see english and telugu and respective codes and uh, i'm passing the languages data to the picker so to display the list of the languages which i'm supporting i'm just passing the data and let's uh, set up the picker like uh, assigning the background and uh, frame of the picker like uh, width is equal to the device size and uh, the height which we require and uh, finally assign the picker to the uh, text field uh, input view and now let's run it and check uh, how it looks like and i just change the background color of the text field and given the bottom constants so oops uh, we didn't call the set picker here i just call the set picker in the view did load and now yes now it's coming it is showing the languages which we are supporting uh, let's see how to localize in the uh, views like storyboard or xib so when you select the storyboard you can see the uh, localization as the language is uh, based in the telugu so just uncheck the language which you have added and check it again then it automatically adds the uh, each string for the label or button which component you have now create the uh, localization manager class Uh, where you will be writing how to set up the localization string programmatically and uh, getting the selector language and here we have a subclass of bundle and uh, extension for the bundle and uh, created other class called app constants um so in app constants i had created a class called uh, uh, local data so you can see the bundle where i have uh, written the set language uh, function to it and uh, here uh, the local data class is nothing but where you will be saving or getting the language here you can see the uh, static variable called language uh, with the value apple languages basically user defaults key we will be writing our customized ones but uh, for localization we need to write uh, the specific key uh, as apple languages uh, to get the uh, existed languages or uh, to set the languages so that is the main role of it and here in localization manager the extension of the bundle which will be taken care of totally reflecting the whole uh, application when you change the language 
uh, without restarting the application it will just uh, reroute to the initial controller uh, when we set the language uh, only in that case only the total language will be reflected to the selected language so your selected language i'm just uh, uh, passing the uh, user defaults the respective apple languages and getting from the user defaults like uh, which language uh, is the default one now you can see okay now we, are, we need to do some more like when we select the picker we need to uh, set up the language now uh, for a programmatical uh, localization i have created localizable dot strings and uh, assigned both the languages to it now you can see three files here uh, we need to write like the base language equal to the language which we are uh, uh, i mean uh, let let's suppose the base language is english equal to telugu in telugu dots i mean uh, localizable strings uh, telugu file we need to assign telugu value to it in english we need to english if it is suppose german english equal to german like that we need to write here uh, we need to have the base language string uh, for the comparison uh, in the views you need to assign the uh, you can see the main dot strings a uh, telugu so here you need to assign the uh, string value which we you need to show when telugu is selected Here I'm setting up the language when uh, the specific language got selected. So I'm just passing the uh, language code to the set language uh, method. Here I'm getting the already selected language, the current language and the uh, selected language in the picker. I'm just comparing. Uh, let's suppose already the current language of the application is English. And again, if I select English, no need to perform the action really. So I'm just comparing uh, both the codes, whether if they are different only, I'm setting up the uh, language to the bundle. Uh, setting up the language to the bundle which totally uh, changes the total application bundle language so for uh, from ios 13 we have seen it and earlier we used to have a uh, app delegate uh, so uh, i'm just uh, setting up the uh, scene kit and for uh, ios 13 and above and the previous versions i'm just calling the app delegate and uh, setting up the root view controller to the window like this so here we i in localization manager we have method called localized string so localization manager dot localize string of the respective string we need to pass so it will uh, from the localizable dot strings it will uh, compare the string uh, and uh, give the current uh, uh, language uh, related string and uh, show it accordingly so for your reference i'm just uh, printing the uh, localization string and the uh, converted localization string value so let's run the application and okay just give the number of lines to zero here okay just change the language uh, you can see okay it was not changing so i'm just debugging and showing you how it is working the selected language is uh, english and i have selected telugu the top one the using the uh, storyboard uh, it got changed automatically 
but the second one programmatically it is not changed because the issue is i'm just comparing the strings if there is a single space also it don't work uh, as we require so i'm just checking the string whether i had given properly or not so here everything is correctly here the issue is we need to give localizable dot strings then only it will work for automatic if you are localizing for info dot playlist you need to give info dot uh, strings as the name but uh, throughout the application dynamically when you have to do you need to give localizable dot strings then only it will reflect now uh, anyways we have selected the language so based on the selected language we are just selecting the row of the picker and uh, here i'm just getting the uh, current selected language and comparing the languages and uh, setting up the respective language to the picker Okay, now everything is done just run it and check uh, so yeah now the select row is not set and uh, Yes, now everything is perfect that uh, whichever language I select, the picker is showing the respective language. Now, when you go to the settings, the default language is English. So, I'm just changing it to the Telugu. And uh, now just uninstall the application and install it. see the base language will be telugu here so based on the language of the device it will take the priority of it and it will show and later you can change to the language which you need here in the description i'm attaching the link for the github you can get the code related to the localization how i have done and uh, hope you liked it and it is helpful please like share and subscribe uh, techie mob